Uh, what's up, family? Na Ross, Ivy Ross, checking in. Um, hope y'all having a good day. It's a little rainy outside, so you already know how it is. You already know how I feel. It's not fucking with the rain ever. But here we are, and it's cold. Starting my car up, but um, this dude Daniel Kaluuya, man, I can't, I can't with this guy. I can't, I can't right now, man. So Daniel Kaluuya had an interview about how he's tired of talking about race. He doesn't want to be the spokesperson for. Uh, black people nobody asked you to be the spokesperson but you are signing up for that when you are doing those kind of roles he's playing Fred Hampton one of the chairman for the fucking Black Panthers and he's talking about I'm tired of talking about race this is how you know that when non-black Americans are playing black Americans for the 13th time why it's never sincere they're just there to get a buck they don't give a shit about what black americans actually go through and this dude's annoyed about he's annoyed about talking talking about race america is is the most racist country on the planet literally everything is about race i get sick and tired of talking about race but this is my life this is what i have to live he on the other hand, thinks that he can somehow live separately. This is what this this must be what it is because he can say those kind of statements, saying, "Man, I don't want to talk about this. Remove me from the conversation." But yet, you go out of your way to play in movies like Get Out, which is based on race. You get in black. You go on movies like Black Panther, which is based on race. Uh, at least the the uh, promotion of it. The, 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 the success of it was based on race. The fact that black people aren't, on, uh, aren't featured enough in the cinema uh, 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 freaking circle of, uh, of Hollywood, you know, money makers. So uh, what else? Queen and Slim. You play Queen and Slim, Slim playing a black American. Now you're playing Fred Hampton. All these characters are race heavy characters race heavy movies if you don't want to be involved about race about being black then don't be in black movies don't be a black american go do shit go do something in disney go do something in go make a sci-fi movie but you go out of your way and call these producers and directors you don't even you don't even need a, 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 a audition you don't even need to do an audition so you can miss me with that shit talking about I'm tired of, I'm tired of this but let me go make money off of this I'm tired of talking about this in real life uh, but let me make money off of this it's honestly it's disgusting the fact that he's playing Fred Hampton and mother don't even look like Fred Hampton he don't even look like Fred Hampton at all Shit. And I, I don't know if I don't even know. I mean, if you guys see my past videos, you know I've talked about. I brought. I've spoken about Daniel Kaluuya and Cynthia Arivio. Damn! I just saw this motorcycle dude like pretty much kick this car right here. Like, I think the car was trying to take a left. And his motorcycle dude like stuck his foot out, trying to like kick the car. What the hell? Anyways, um, I've spoken about these Brits, these black Brits coming over here to play black Americans and pretty much pandered, pretty much, let's say, uh, what is that word? Submit to white supremacy. That's what they do. 
Cindy Arrivio, she was in an interview and she said, oh, I made, I wanted to make sure on set that, you know, uh, whatever the white boy's name is who played her master in the movie, I, I want to make sure that he feels safe. I want to make sure that he feels okay about this, about slapping me and whatever else they were doing in the movie. And then uh, Daniel Kaluuya saying, you know, I don't want to talk about race. Pretty much saying he's tired of being in black movies, put me in white movies. Also, uh, subliminally, he's saying he's not for uh, the advancement for black Americans. Because the reason why all these movies are made, the reason why all these movies are, are uh, making profit off of black history is because of what we've gone through. And, you know, it will be really cool if that was done, you know, like, it's over, you know what I mean, like, they make movies about the Romans and shit, like, Romans are over, like, they're not a thing really anymore, you know, but our fight is very much real right now, our fight is very much real right now, like, every single movie about, like, black Americans, regardless if it's, you know, back uh, before the Emancipation Proclamation, or, 2017 in, in, uh, in uh, Charlottesville it has not changed they keep making movies about black people and making money and the issue is that these actors don't give a shit about what's happening here why are we here why are these movies being made of course yeah they make great stories and black people have, have developed great characters because of what this racist society has put us through but the fact that we're still going through this there needs to be a fight you know or support about what we're dealing with right now and um i'm just tired of you know these people coming in here that don't care about our people but because they look like us surface wise they have melanin on their skin their lineage does not go back meaning that they don't relate to living in this kind of uh perspective and the fact that they have to go to costco or they have to go in the hood they have to they have to study us just to play us and then you want to complain that people are interviewing you about race too much literally this is america literally this is america like, that's all we think about. That's all these people think about is racism. This country was founded on racism. Nothing else. They dragged us over here. They said, hey, this is what you look like. And guess what? Your kids are going to look like you. So we know you're going to always be ours. And we're going to make a ton of money off you. And guess what? We, gonna, we are going to remove any type of opportunity for you to profit off of what you contributed to this country. That's how this country was started. Off of racism. And now we're making movies based off of the black American experience, which is racism. All of our fights have been through racism. Like literally nothing else. Like every situation, whether it's uh, whether it's the, the crack era or whether it's the reconstruction era, whether it's civil war, everything in the black experience is based off of racism because our position, they put us in a position to climb uphill, climb up an impossible hill. So in short, Daniel and any other inspiring Brit if you don't want to be involved with the racism that is in America, don't play black Americans. Stay in the UK, stay wherever you are, and make the movies there. Oh, but you can't because, because you're black, you can't get opportunities in the UK. That's literally what Daniel said. The reason why he's not making movies there is because the opportunities is very limited. And you come over here to play black Americans. Taking our position, taking our roles, taking ADOS, American Descendants of Slavery's roles 
that we should rightfully play. Because most of us are fighting it and living it, living that experience. We're not treating it like it's some skit, like we can just exit. Which this guy obviously feels that way, to, to even say that. So this whole, you know, pan-African, pan-Africanist, you know, mentality, like, oh, you know, doesn't matter, like, if you are black or uh, and Nigerian or black American, you know, the police are still gonna, you know, there's still gonna be brutality with police. If you think the black American experience is simply about police brutality, you are tripping, in short, and the most respectful way I can say that. So, Anyway, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm done talking about these people. I just I just wanted to make a, like a response video based on damn dude, based on what I said cuz I have so many people saying, "Oh, I don't know. I mean, what's the problem with him playing a black American?" This is the problem. This is the problem. They come here to capitalize off of us. They come here to capitalize off our story, don't give a shit about us. Those people don't deserve to play us. I don't give a damn if it's in a movie or if it's in a play. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't care. Go do your own thing. That's how much respect I have for my people. That's how much respect uh, we should have our, for ourselves. Every other group does. Every other group has respect for their people. And they'll say, nah, we ain't rolling with that. We don't support that. If you're another nationality coming in and you got anti-black views or if you are just saying I'm pretty much tired of talking about black American history. That's what he's saying when he's being asked that question about race. Like he's, a spoke per like he's supposed to be a spokesperson of black people but wants to play literally the fucking chairman of Black Panthers. Which symbolically, tangentially... Uh, the spokesperson for black people. <laughs> so this dude is doing it for a check. He's not doing it because he feels he feels passionate about our experience. So, anyways, I'm out. Checking out. You guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.